restorative justice has been an avenue for getting to the deep roots of, of how people and why people cause harm and then really being able to give voice to people who have been harmed that they often haven't gotten in other spaces and avenues on the college campus. I think first and foremost, the goal of these trainings is to help professionals experience restorative practices, to get a felt sense of what it means to sit in circle, to talk about harm, needs, and solutions, to really experience it. The trainings we provide are highly customized uh, to meet the needs of particular communities. They're intensive, uh, skill-building opportunities, as well as focused on uh, practical implementation. And our training team are made up of practitioners, people with uh, long experience with uh, facilitating restorative processes. Today you've been asked to bring a talking piece to share an object that has meaning to you and has a story behind it. The first round is an opportunity for each of us to share our talking piece and the story behind it and why it's meaningful to you. My piece is this bracelet, um, representative of the relationship between my mother and I. The reason that I chose to bring a magnet is because my husband and I love to travel and so every time we go to a new country we bring back a small magnet um, and you'll see them on our refrigerator. Thank you for bringing these stories and these objects to our circle today. Uh, the second round is an opportunity to, to honor those stories and, and reflect back some of the details of those stories and make a connection with those stories. I love the fact that it's so transferable. I think that these processes the circles, um, the conferences can all be used for multiple facets. What role can HR have or other offices have in terms of folks who don't have a voice or who are not being seen and how do we create a space to restore harm that's been internalized? We can do it. Schools are doing it. It's not that intimidating. It's going to increase retention. It's going to increase a sense of belonging and community on campus. I now have been converted to think this is something that we absolutely need to do on our campus. I just encourage people to try it. Try those RJ circles at orientation. Try RJ circles for those floor meetings in, in residence halls. Try RJ circles in your classroom and give people the opportunity to give voice to their experiences, to their concerns, to their needs, and to allow people to collaborate and to problem solve. Um, and I think people will be pleasantly surprised by the changes that they see.